Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain some tips and tricks about the skinning, the skin workflow and how to improve and how to be as fast as I can, you know, all the little secrets that I, I heard during these years. So as you can see, first of all, uh, I give like uh, a size to every bone because this is going to help the initial skin. So let's unhide the body. As you can see right now, there is no skin apply. We're going to play right now. So select skin. Uh, click hard. I unhide only the bone. And now I go here and select everything. Unhide the bone. Oh, sorry. Hide the bone. And uh, I've done a little animation just for testing the deformation. And as you can see now, the deformation is not really good. Even here, the the arms. So actually, the first part of the process, it's like select every bone and be sure they don't influence vertex that we don't want. So for example, um, it seems the leg. You see, this uh, uh, the left leg influence also the. Uh, the right leg, sorry, influence also the left leg. So, what we're going to do now is uh, uh, select all the vertices in this, the left. Oh, sorry. Uh, once again, select everything. And now select all the. Oh, first of all, open this panel. And now we're going to select all the bone from the right leg Oops. and press to zero so we are sure they don't influence the other leg so here press zero zero and we are going to do the same for all the chain of this uh, leg once we have done with this we are going to do the opposite because we also want that the uh, left leg doesn't influence the right one so once again select all the vertex for the right leg and uh, once again select every bone from here and remove all the weights to the uh, right leg you see and doing right here and once again until the foot Okay, once we have done it even with the left leg, let's try to check. And now, as you can see, the deformation here is much, much better. Because automatically, the 3 Max redistribute the weight of the vertex between each bone, you know, once you remove it from the other leg. So, of course, you need some tweaking here, but this is, like, uh, minor detail. So, let's go back now and do the same for the hip and from the spine and uh, so on, okay? As you can see now, the spine influences a lot the upper chest and also the arms and, and the leg and we don't want this, so let's go on, on pin weight, maybe a little bit more bigger and for example for the... oops, we are going to remove this especially this part, we don't really like it, it's too much for the lower spine because usually one of the common mistakes is when the spine influence uh, also the the harm because the the location is really close. So once again here, yeah, all of this remove. here oh, as you can see now uh, the spine influence also the head and ob obviously we don't want that and once again okay maybe we can work only on the left side of the body because later we are going to mirror the skin uh, and again okay we are moving to the neck now here that reduce 
Um, maybe we can leave for now a little bit here, just for now. And the head. Uh, definitely the head is influenced too much, the shoulder, the upper chest, absolutely we don't, we don't want that. Uh, so once we are done with this, even if it's just the first pass, and oh, I was almost forgot about, oh yeah, the clavicle is another bigger problem. Uh, so let's delete here, absolutely delete everything here. And, uh, you know, and check always also the other clavicle because when you're going to mirror, uh, you know, the skin, if you, if you left something behind, it can give problems when you mirror. Oh, let's delete everything. Okay. And now we can refine just a little bit with the paint weight. Paint weight, sorry. Uh, so let's make it a little bit smooth here just a tiny bit really quickly now you don't have as this first pass it doesn't really matter to be too much precise not for now at least no just to make the the skin weight a little bit smoother Here, I just see. Paint here a little bit. And all this part. So I took in mind and just want to show you the way how to do it. Of course, you have to spend much more time on details when you. if you want to make a really efficient skin, you know? And once again, the clavicle. bit and the head maybe it's too much but we can refine later no problem Okay, after you spend, I don't know, let's say 15, 20 minutes about this first step, uh, as you can see, the deformation is not so bad. Look at here, the heart, you know, it's not perfect, of course, but as a first step, I think it's really, really good, and you can get it, okay, maybe here it's bad, but you can get it, right, really in 20 minutes, uh, you know. Uh, now we are going to uh, explore a little bit in detail the shoulder and the arm part, which is the most... Uh, uh, difficult usually in a character. So let's go here. Okay, so go back to the arm and let's check this little deformation and go to the spine and smooth a little bit. You see, more soft. And then go to the first bone to the arms. I said first bone because I have, uh, you know, uh, twist bones here. and decide how much improve. Try to think about that this deformation come also because I rotated just the arm without move the clavicle, okay? So it would be much better when you pull up the also the clavicle. Okay, so let's see the clavicle now and be sure you give a really good weight skin to the clavicle. I don't want to say this, this kind of vertex supposed to be almost, let's say, 90% from the clavicle bone, you know? So sometimes the better way is come back to the uh, spine and remove, uh, you know, the vertex. No? Something like similar. So always check the spine, uh, the the neck area, you know, uh, and uh, and the head actually. So because if you 
pay attention about the bone structure you can save a lot of time ok once you have done with the shoulder and the arm and you spend enough time let's go to the finger that for some people can be a little bit tricky you know but actually it's pretty simple uh, select all the vertex all the hand and give 100 so removing all the weights to the bone so now select this uh, this bone here, the first bone of the finger. Select all the vertex. Give just one, and this other ring select it. And let's go on 0 0.5. And now start to fix a little bit more uh, here. Maybe you know 75 here one. I don't know, let's play around a little bit you know, then do the same for this uh, other uh, joint and select all this finger or this ring, uh, vertex, sorry 100 here this one, this one 0 0.5 and here 7 and here you know and now you have and you can do it the same for all the joint you know of the finger and you can do it really quickly and once again at the end spend some time about refining but in this way you can rig the whole finger in I don't know 20 minutes okay so the last tip I want to give you is um, sometimes during production it can happen that even after you made the rig you want to change something to the mesh uh, let's say for example they want to add more polygon or optimize a little bit more the mesh or, or uh, whatever if they change are not so big you can do it without lose your skin uh, just go here on the advanced parameters and uncheck always default so now if we come back on editable poly say yes and let's say for example you want to add here couple of loop you know like ring uh, then connect and once again you know we can do this without uh, uh, losing the skin as you can see okay you see it's keep the deformation and everything and another thing this can be really uh, of course uh, after you've done with this always check it back this one and of course you can also use this feature if you wanna for example test uh, the bone placement because sometimes the results between a uh, good skin or bad skin it can happen also depend where you place your joint on your bone so let's say for example this is my deformation now what happens if I pull up a little bit my shoulder as you can see right now it doesn't affect the skin but if I move the slider you see you will see the new deformation or if I put it really low you know and you can make all the tests that you want and I hope you enjoy see you next time with the muscle